Okay. Hope you have been enjoying the journey so far. Now let's move forward. Okay. So last time we missed something. If you look at this, these sprinkles, the cylinder. The cylinder has a lot of vertices, you know, it's kind of, it looks very smooth, which can make your render too slow. And it's a very small particle, the sprinkles are very small, so we don't need them to, look, you know, th those sprinkles to look very, very smooth. So what you actually need to do is when you add this cylinder, it is like this and on the lower uh, left part, bottom left, it says add cylinder. So when you click on this, this thing appear. Okay, so appears. So when you first add any new object, this thing appears. After that, it's lost. If you click somewhere else, it's lost. So you have to do it at the very first when you add a new object. So we have vertices here, 32, we're going to decrease it to 8, okay? So it, the cylinder looks something like this. It has very less vertices and it is less complex and it's easier to render because it's not that smooth, okay? So we need to do that when we first add the object, add the cylinder. But since we have already, uh, you know, added the object, Mm -hmm. what we're going to do here is click on the cylinder okay and we add modifier modifier so this is the thing modifier properties go there and add modifier we're going to add decimate after that we're going to choose unsubdiv uh, unsubdivide and on iterations we're going to uh, I'm going to show you uh, if we have this, uh, okay, okay, so we have this now. If you go to one and then again to two, now we have like eight points here, eight sides. Okay, it's not perfect, like you. Uh, it's not exactly similar to what you do at the beginning when you add the new object, but still it works. So now if you go here and click apply, okay, now it has applied to all the sprinkles, okay, all the cylinders. So that's what we want and we missed this part in the previous video or previous part or previous tutorial. So now let's go back to the icing, click on the icing. We have geometry nodes here. Everything looks good, but uh, there are two things we're gonna address in this part. One thing is uh, we don't need uh, these sprinkles on like these droops, you know, the, that's dropping down here. These parts, we don't need the sprinkles. They're not supposed to be there. Another thing is, um, you know, all the, you know, sprinkles are like, uh, like they are, I don't know what word I'm going to use, uh, but they're overlapping each other, okay, like this. We don't want this, okay, or at least very less or very few of them, okay. We don't need much of them, so... Those two things are what we're going to address, what we're going to look at in this part. So first of all, to get rid of the sprinkles on these lower parts, the troops, we're going to use something called weight paint. From object mode, uh, we're going to change it, change the mode to weight paint. Okay. So here you can see the blue thing here blue color that means it's not painted okay red is painted blue is not painted so when you do that uh, you can just 
turn off this uh, display modifier right now. So click that and it's hiding the sprinkle. It's there, but it's hiding for now. So when you do this weight paint, what happens here is if you come down here, this green thing, click here. Right now it's uh, the vertex groups. This thing is empty, but once you start painting, if you click here, it creates a group, okay? And you can just click on the group, double click, and then change the name to spring sprinkles or let's say more sprinkles and press enter so the red means sprinkles are there you know you need there and if you see here strength if you decrease it it's like greenish greenish and yellowish that means very low strength very few sprinkles will be there if you, you know, keep clicking it turns yellow so less than red but more than green so that's how we use uh, increase the strength and yeah keep painting uh, we need here okay and only up to this part okay we don't want to go too down you don't want sprinkles down there and let's decrease the strength and very few here okay and uh okay so if you think like uh these part are like way too down like for example if you just paint it here you don't want there you don't want the sprinkles there go to this thing here and choose f subtract and paint it will this will erase the paint okay now go back here and choose f draw so that's what we can do strength okay okay so that's what we want and uh, Okay. Um, okay. We don't want it to go too down. Okay. So once we do that, we can go back to object mode. Okay. Now click on the icing and let's go to um, modifier and turn this on. Okay real-time display modifier so we are back with our sprinkles uh, what I what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna increase the density here from 5,000 to 10,000 I think we need more sprinkles okay so right now it's not applied here uh, the sprinkles are still hanging there we don't need that we're gonna uh, change that uh, first of all what we need to do is change this to uh, let me see uh, what we can do here uh, if you click uh, here the ge under geometry below geometry it's empty thing here and uh, if you you know drag it and connect to this density it shows this thing here density here in the add modifier so we can control that from here it's 10,000 if you you know make it 50,000 
it's going to make change here on our donut. Okay. Give it 10,000 for now. And now if you, what we need to do is we need to add our, uh, that group here. Okay. The one we created, the which was created from weight paint. For that, um, this there's kind of box here. If you click here, the number, the the place where number was there, uh, there, it becomes empty. And if you click on this empty space, you have these options. And you from there, more sprinkles. We have created this group. Click there. Okay, we have chosen that one. It's still not showing there. For that, what we need to do is, uh, we need to go to um, random Poisson disk. It call it's called Poisson disk. So after that, what we're gonna do is connect this density to this density factor. So. Uh, again, this uh, this thing here, the empty goes to density max. Okay, so we're not we're not having anything here. Um, uh, we're not able to see the sprinkles because uh, we don't have any value here. So what we're gonna do is add here and uh, beauty ladies and math. And if you click here, it's going to connect these points. And the value here is very low, 0 0.5. Let's set it to 10,000. So we have the sprinkles back here. But now if you notice, we don't have them, you know, on these droves. They're on like, uh, they're on very uh, certain areas. Now we can increase the number here, value here, because because of the paint, it has decreased some uh, sprinkles. Let's uh, change it to from uh, ten thousand to like twelve thousand. Okay, we can always change that value. Okay, so what we can now do is this clipping things, okay, the overlapping things, we can get rid of them. Not completely, but we're gonna decrease them. So this distance minimum, here we're gonna set it to 0 0.004, okay. Okay, so it has got rid of some of them. Not all, but some, and yeah, you can uh, choose this uh, seed and just click here. And it's gonna randomly you know, create a different uh, pattern. So, uh, some of will, some of them will have more clipping, but some of them will have less. So you can choose any from them, or you can just keep it as it is. We can always uh, play with this and maybe increase it 0 0.006. Okay. We have less clipping, and from this value, we're going to change it to around 15,000. We don't have many sprinkles here. We're going to add even more, let's say 20,000. Okay. Okay, so we have a pretty good donut here with uh, sprinkles, with less clipping, uh, almost no clipping, but yes, yeah, some of them are uh, still overlapping, but not as much as we had before. And they're not hanging on these troops, okay? So that's what we want for this part of our tutorial. And Okay, so in next part, we'll make it even better by, you know, adding colors and making it more attractive, more realistic. Uh, 
you can always go back to this uh, weight paint and um, adjust these paints like if you don't want too much of uh, too many sprinkles here just uh, go back just F subtract here um, and then just you know get rid of them and come back to optic mode okay okay so that's all for this part uh, keep practicing this part and then we'll see each other in the next part okay there's something here also first let's get rid of this thing here subtract yeah okay okay see you in the next part